Welcome back to another video, Little Coders, and today we're going to be talking about GUI tweening in Roblox Studio. So, before we get started, we need to have our things set up. For example, for this example, we need our button, our image of whatever image it is, and we need our local script inside of Screen GUI, inside the Starter GUI, inside of the Explorer. So, we're going to go inside of our local script, of course, I have it pre-prepared, and we're going to go through what's inside so that we can learn a bit more about tweening. So we get our variables, which is the button and the actual image, right here, and over here, we detect if the cool toast or the button has been clicked. If the button has been clicked, then here's where the tweening starts. So. Um, we have the toaster or the image and we have tween position so tween position is one of the kinds of functions that you can use use but there are three in total it's one is tween position the one i'm going to be teaching about or the first one i'm going to teach about in this video and the second one is tween size and the third one is tween size and position both in all in one so i'm going to go through tween position and then I'm going to do tween size and position. So we're going to go in tween position and inside of here we can look through of what the variables or parameters are for this function here so that we can make it actually tween. So the first thing is end position. Where do we want our tween to end? So in here we have toaster and it would be ending around here in the center. I put it in the center and I got the coordinates of the actual toaster itself and slapped it into this little thing right here. You may be wondering what this is as it is new. UDIM2 is a kind of number holder in this case, similar to vector 2 or 3, but instead of it being vector, it's UDIM2. A bit different. We need it to be this kind so that it actually works. Besides that, there's, that's basically it for the end position. The next one is easing direction. So the easing direction is the kind of direction it's easing into, or the kind. I'm going to explain that after explaining the easing style so it makes more sense. So I'm going to add some dashes here so we can write that down. Easing style. The easing style that I chose is bounce, but there are about eight. I'm going to get out of full screen so that you can see all of them. There's linear, sine, back, quad, court, quint, bounce, and elastic. So in your case, you can choose any of the eight for your project. So like I said, I'm going to be using elastic for now, or bounce, whoops. And down here, you can see how it says out and in, back and forth. So when it goes in, it looks like this if we focus on elastic, but when it goes out, it goes practically instantly. So there is a difference between the outs and ins, which is why you want to be deciding on that. The next thing, well, we already discussed easing style and direction, so the last two things is, first of all, the time, how long is it going to take for tweening to make it to the end. It could slow down or go faster depending on the number, of course. We could just write time. Lastly, of all of them that you will mainly look at, there are others, but in this case, the last one is going to be override. So, is it going to override any other tweens? Since we don't have any other tweens, and it, since it's just this one, we're going to set it to false. So, we're going to do override. Now, now that we have everything listed and you should have a broad idea of what tween position should do, we can start running the game and see the awesome tweening. Hey. Load, 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 load. Don't mind my weird singing. <laughs> so if we click the button, as you can see, it bounces into place. If we go here and we change it from in to out make sure you have capitals for your strings and also make sure you have commas except for the last one 
just so that you guys don't get any weird errors we can click here and wait a second please run yeah. if we click it now it loads in faster than it did before because we used a different kind of easing direction of course we could customize this to our liking of how we want it but for this example on tween position that's it not the video uh, please don't leave yet i still want to teach you about size included so we're going to keep this but we're going to change this to size size goes first size and position so we can't run it yet because we need to actually put the size variable in and we have to put it in first on top of so that the position is under it as the order of the name so we need the size basically so i'm going to do udim2 again dot new oops brackets and we're going to write well we can't really write anything yet but we can add a comma so let's get that size set up so I'm going to say 200 because as you can see it's 100 by 100 or at least it should be. Well it's not. Okay. I can fix that. Just bing bang boom. There we go. Now it's perfectly a square. I'm going to make it so that it grows into 200 by the time it makes it to the end of the position part. So I'm just going to write it out. 0, 200, 200. Oh zero and then 200 there now when we run the game it should expand at the same time of moving its position hopefully so oops lagging please no and three two one boom it expanded so you can see it's not perfectly in the middle anymore because it sort of expanded a bit weirdly but we could adjust the positioning to our liking like i said but the main thing is that it actually works i'm not going to be really a perfectionist in this video so that's kind of it you can customize it as much as you want i uh, after this video is done i will try to explore with this because this is kind of fun to see the animations but i'll see you next week with a video on ui constraints bye